Good morning, everyone. We're doing another review commentary, and I'm going to turn this on in three, two, one, boom. Anyway, uh, the review I'm doing uh, for this episode is a book review for a, for a book called The Suburban Strange, which I actually met the author. He came to my high school at the time because I was still in high school when um, I did this review. And um, I even referenced that in the fucking review. And um, yeah, that was um, that was enough incentive for me to read it and get a review out for it. And I dressed in all black because the uh, characters in the book are like emo tards. But um, anyway, uh, I can I can already notice some like immediate like positive qualities that I made from this from the previous reviews. One. The lighting is better. Um, my outfit is less douchey. My hair is actually less douchey too. And I can like see like just my presence has already improved and I'm developing. And I don't even know where that signed little piece of paper I had from the dude is. I know I have it, it's around somewhere. But um, I, I hope it's around somewhere. I haven't seen it in long enough. I don't have the book anymore, I sold that, but um, because I do sell my things after I review them, that is my, that is my motto, but um, oh look at that awkward transition, uh, but anyway, uh, this was actually, like, if you look on my channel, this is like the first video I uploaded, and the reason for that is, I used to have an old account, and I actually had to delete everything and re-upload it. And that's probably a story for another day for why I had to do that. But for whatever reason, when I was re-uploading the like four or five reviews I had up at the time, um, I just put up my Suburban Strange one first just out of randomness. It's actually my third review. And if you're wondering the order, like my, the order of when I review these to the order of when I upload them is different because the number is based upon when I completed like that project so like let's say I um, like watched a movie and then like just procrastinated on making the review and then made some else during that time uh, like let's say I, I watched another movie and that movie was more popular so I just rushed the review out I still watched that other movie first so in the review order um, so the review order is like subjective to me so if anyone was wondering why that is like because if you look at my upload dates and the order that the reviews are in it's not going to add up so if you were ever wondering about that and i hope i'm not talking too loud into the microphone it's hard to talk over myself like this it's not a natural thing for me but i'm i'm doing my best here and I remember this review like was actually a lot easier because books don't have all that much um, like content like from whether it be images or just clips there's not as much like stuff to put on screen and at this point in time I didn't have the like classic uh, have the cover on during the entire review thing so I would try my best like to have some kind of images I know in some of my other reviews that have like fan art and other things that I wouldn't put in my reviews now, but I I think like how I do them now with the green screen and having the cover, it's probably the best you can do when reviewing books. I know pretty much every other YA reviewer just has their room in the background, so at least I'm doing better than them. And I haven't, it's been so long since I've reviewed a book. Uh, I know I did, well that's not true, I did, um, what was it? Uh, Turtles All the Way Down. That was the last book review I did at the time you're watching this. And um, I should have grabbed another drink before I started the video. I'm going, I'm going to get drunk for these, by the way. Just because personal reasons because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm relaxing at this point like my other podcasts you know I really have to like go into memory lane and this is just a reaction video I'm chilling you guys are chilling 
Just chilling. And I dumped out a lot of information for this book, so... It's kind of shitty. I really want to, like, listen and focus on what I'm saying, but at the same time, I have to make all these points. But, uh, I'll do my best. I'm just... It's really hard for me to adapt to talking and listening at the same time. Because I really... To and this is a classic thing with books where you like try to learn characters name based on how they're spelled yeah that's always hard for me I should have put that in my like the struggles of being a reader um, podcast that I did I don't know if I've uploaded that one for you guys yet Oh yeah, that's another wonderful point. I hate it in YA books where there's just like, it's obviously for young girls and like the plot is like devoted love, like the Twilight devoted love. I really hate that shit. I feel like this is much more watchable compared to the last two videos. Like I can look at you and not like be as pissed off I'm talking to myself like I'm this third person. But I can look at myself and, like, not be as picked off. Like, I kind of hate my mannerisms and shit like that. I hate I hate my shadows that are all over the place. Like, I'll move my hand in front of my face and I'll just block the light. That was a pretty good joke. And this has 42 views. That's pretty uh that's pretty good for a book that no one's ever read. Oh, this is actually a fun fact. So, when I uploaded this to my first channel, I didn't tell anyone about it. Didn't ch like I told a couple of my friends, that's it. And then a teacher in my school stopped me and said, "Hey, I saw your review of The Suburban Strange." And literally I just stopped dead in my tracks. I was like, what? What? Like, how the fuck did you find it? Like, this is back when it had... I didn't have any subscribers. Didn't have anything. Didn't post it on Facebook. Didn't post it anywhere. I was like, how the fuck did you find that? And I assume because, like, that book was popular in that school because of the author that she, you know, just looked up videos about it. But that was just such a weird concept for me that, like, my teacher found me online when looking for, like online people oh here comes the score three out of five back when I did the out of five scale and I the only thing about that font is like fives look weird that um the name of that font is teacher a by the way I found it on a font website and it was called teacher a the fives look really weird with that font. And that's kind of like the classic Soul Show font. Hey, my annotations are working today. There you go. And that looks much better. I like I like the way that the board is made here. The good thing about annotations back then, you could just load up your fucking outro board with annotations. And no one would click on them, but they look goddamn sexy. Like, I remember an Epic Rap Battles of Video, or Epic Rap Battles of History video, where they just literally had, like, 30 fucking rap battles that you could click on, and it just looked so sexy. And, uh, the spoilers. The spoilers are coming, everybody. Um, oh, God, I still ha Oh, no. No, why did I ruin that almost good video? If it's 2 a.m. and the lighting's bad, then Ending. don't film it, dude. You are watching. And uh, so back then, I was really just hustling. I was really like doing these in a timely manner. I was really doing my best with these. And there I am moving the microphone towards my face. Like, that's acceptable. I'm talking about characters I barely even remember. Nathan, oh my god, Nathan, who died, yeah. There's like, that was the last date for anything that happened. 
Jesus, I forgot about a lot of that book. I'll be okay. I'm sorry that I'm like I, I was talking during the interesting part of the review and now I will shut up because of the spoiler talk but for me like the spoiler talk like allows me to be like oh yeah that 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 oh yeah rather than talking vaguely about my opinions and the plots and the summaries like I can remember those it's the spoilers that I'm always like forgetting about but yeah, here I am wearing a fucking, like, cardigan uh, with my hair just ruffled at 2 in the morning. God damn it, I was hustling back then. I would hustle, like, work. Here I was up at 2 in the morning editing and then, like, filming at the end of it. And here I am referencing my math teacher. Basically my math Jesus Christ. Oh shit, he did have a gap in his teeth. I forgot about that. Jesus Christ. There's so much in my brain back then that I don't have anymore. There's so much information I want to pull out of this dude's head. That just because I don't have it anymore. I talked way too long about that, about my math teacher. <laughs> and I remember the love triangle in this book series was ridiculous. Like, it was like a... It was like a fucked up, like, it was like a love octagon. It was too many, too many people into each other. Uh, and I hadn't read Pull Down the Night left. Oh, it's on the way. I had it being shipped to me. And I don't even have this book anymore. That's crazy. I don't think I have it. I'm looking at my books right now. Yeah, I don't see it. I got rid of it. Yeah, they well, left, dude. Be That's be what happened. I'm excited to see they actually it. left. Um, and then come back. Like, um, I don't know. I think the author was just trying to, like, open up the characters. So he had, like, a bunch of them leave for college. And then, like, maybe just so he could introduce new characters. I don't know. It was interesting. Interesting choice. Hopefully not. I don't know. The thing about the book is, like, this book had a lot of... God, the f uh, the way this is framed, I just hate it. Like, I'm my face is off to the side, and you're like, the camera is like almost like a spooky horror movie, like on the right. And yeah, I can see the reflection of the light. I don't. Ugh. Ugh. Stop filming like that. Like, in, even nowadays, I would color correct this because it takes a fucking second to do and it makes it 5% more interesting. Just do something with it. Like, I didn't know how to do that back then. Just do something so it's not just you talking into a camera. Do something visually. Get a, some color in there. Some contrast, some saturation. Ugh. Yep, that's about it. Just cut the video off. You don't know what you're talking about. It's 2 a.m. Pretty good book, right there. Pick it up somewhere. Uh, excited for Pull Down the Night. I will see you then, guys. With that, I leave you. I'll see you then, guys. My voice sounds just delightful. So yeah, that was my review commentary for my third book, The Suburban Strange. I need a drink. I'm gonna go get one. I'll see you guys. God damn it, my. My computer screen keeps going black when I'm recording these.
because I'm not touching anything. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. And until then, with that, I leave you.